This clean energy pathways project came about as a result of a lot of conversations that were happening uh, with native nations in particular, where there was a strong desire to see further development of both clean energy projects and the clean energy workforce. One of the nations where we heard that most clearly was White Earth, which is located in a very rural area of northwestern Minnesota. It's an area that's experienced a long history of disinvestment, and the area is characterized by high energy burden, high climate vulnerability, and also limited employment opportunities. And at the same time, it's a community that has repeatedly demonstrated a commitment to moving forward in the clean energy transition. So the goal of this project was to develop partnerships, both within the community and with external partners, that would support those efforts by strengthening the local clean energy ecosystem so that there would be a strong symbiotic relationship between workforce development and clean energy project deployment. Key early partners in this effort included the clean energy resource teams, as well as White Earth Tribal and Community College, White Earth Economic Development Office, the White Earth Tribal Utility Commission, and the Headwaters Regional Development Commission. This was the first time that this particular group had partnered on a project, and over the course of this project, numerous other partnerships were developed or strengthened. I think the positive impacts from this group, it, one of the main things is it, I think what, what this has done is brought new people to the table. There's a, some new voices and some new staff at the tribe, so it's, it's been able to connect them to each other but also to the partners in the region like CERTS and HRDC that um, take this on in a leadership capacity to bring people together to, to plan and, and strategize. And we've been really successful in forming and strengthening new partnerships as well as utilizing and pulling in um, existing partnerships. And these relationships have been key in developing workforce pathways, specifically from White Earth Tribal College in a different solar positions, and, and then just having a large network of people on board is crucial to the success in rural communities so that we can elevate our work together rather than everybody duplicating the same work. The project included a couple of major components. The first was a needs and assets mapping process to identify community goals, barriers, and opportunities around clean energy. It included community listening sessions and a multitude of smaller meetings with stakeholders and potential partners. So several key themes emerged from these conversations in, as, as really uh, important themes for the community. So environmental quality, Anishinaabe cultural values, uh, energy security and energy sovereignty, economic development and employment opportunities, energy affordability for community members, and that's especially um, for elders and children that were groups that were called out, and also the need for a common knowledge base or language around clean energy. And so these themes really echoed throughout the team's work over the course of the year. That would be great, but I think um, solar and renewables in general for um, tribal communities, indigenous peoples are really important because it's kind of our way of, I think, the way I think about it is that indigenous peoples, we've always had these ideals and this way of life where we've kind of lived in harmony with our environment and kind of been the land stewards. So. You know, renewables is kind of our way of doing that with a modern touch. We it's need to be con continue to have these conversations so that people have a greater understanding of where their energy comes from and how we can maintain the beauty of our of our environment that is this this northern uh, Minnesota area um, and 
be able to meet the energy needs of the community as well. So it's it's a fine line, but that's that's the main part that gets me excited is that young people are participating in their education, that they're participating in their um, um, uh, in, in the community conversations around um, around water, energy, agriculture, um, industry. Um, so that that's the main the big picture that I see is is the active participation of our of our young people, um, but also of the community as a whole. I the second big component of this project was building on an existing NABSEP accredited solar training program at the White Earth Tribal and Community College in Monoman with the goal of developing pathways for community members. First, to get into the training, so that's addressing recruitment barriers, then uh, going through the training and completing it successfully, so addressing retention barriers, and then going from the training to real world experience, in clean energy project deployment, especially through the development of an internship program. And to accomplish these goals, the team established or strengthened partnerships with each other, as well as with the Madadizi Workforce Center, White Earth Housing, the local electric utility, various solar installers, including the team working on a recently funded microgrid project in the nearby community of Pine Point, and others. The other thing that we did is to uh, work with the wider tribal college and surrounding community uh, programs to uh, bring in outside employment for residents and education. During these projects, um, uh, we're going to be offering internships, uh, apprenticeships, uh, and it's going to take roughly two to two and a half years to complete. Hopefully we can get some jobs, we can get some internships uh, and get people some real world experience in building these solar arrays for our communities. We also have other uh, solar projects planned uh, for later in the future so we can start utilizing the uh, people that we trained uh, for, these, for this project. I got into renewable energy work because it was very big around in our community at the time because we we're such a small community of Pine Point there. I'd like to see the program to grow and create more jobs for people on the reservation of White Earth. My goal or our hope for this is uh, we want to hopefully integrate the PV panels with our solar heat panels so we can, they can work together. But like Over the course of the year, the team also mapped out complementary skills that might be useful um, along with the solar training. So things like efficiency and weatherization, electrical, project management, operations and maintenance. And the team also mapped out diverse applications in different sectors. So business energy, residential energy, and, and larger scale public sector or utility installations. And that was with the goal of creating a solid foundation for a healthy, self-sustaining, clean energy economy. In alignment with that, additional goals being pursued by the project team going forward include energy auditor and weatherization training and implementation, including for manufactured homes, which are a common type of housing in the area, as well as training in electrical and other trades. At the same time, the project team built partnerships and identified funding that would enable the community to develop over the longer term that resilient, self-sustaining, clean energy economy that would meet the community identified needs and goals. But in a nutshell, I think you know these partnerships as well has provided our community the ability to strategize well together on how we look for funding as you know, there's a lot of funding opportunities right now and it can be overwhelming. And I think what this has done is allow us to just kind of have a team approach to assess the right funds, the right, the right funding source and also the right time uh, to make sure we can implement the funds in the best way possible. And it's been a really busy year for the project team. 
but we're looking forward to many more years of partnership as we continue to build a clean energy economy that serves the rural communities of White Earth Nation, Monoman, and Northern Minnesota.